Gotcha, you bugger. Vegeta took one. Whoa, he didn't die. Okay, and oh god, here comes Goku. Line towards the man. 21 da more damage, okay. So he actually didn't die from that attack that usually instant kills him. Um. Hmm. Hopefully, I get another Kai card, hopefully. So I can pull off another strong attack, because, uh. I think a charge of Kamehameha might finish him off. And I didn't get one. Oh well. This has been Visual 9001. See you guys next time. Bye bye for now. Hey everybody, Visual 9001 here. We're about to play Dragon Ball Z Legend of Super Saiyan. This is my starting of my next set session because my god it's been a while since I played this uh yeah I wanted to finish my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team LP before I continued on doing this anywho we're gonna be finishing off Vegeta hopefully do you have anything that will turn no I don't huh KO Ken of course and just use that and nobody else attacks. Now there's something about Vegeta that I hate that I think happens rarely often or I remember at some point it does it which is stupid but if I remember correctly Vegeta if he uses one certain ability he has the ability to attack all characters. Even the ones that aren't even attacking during that turn, which usually means that they don't get attacked. I think he actually can break that game barrier. If I remember correctly, which is completely unfair. Uh, Goku, use Kao Ken, use that. Ugh, I need another Kai card. Or Key card, whatever the heck you want to pronounce it. I need one to finish him off. After I finish him off, I got a funny story to tell you about when I first tried to beat this game a long time ago. I don't want to tell it until later. But then I can get a better understand not better understanding, but better way of say talking about it. And I'm gonna need more. Wait. I can use that. Give me a Kai card. Bugger all. Got another one? Nope. Sad face. What's that do? Oh yeah, that changes the card of the opponent to a weak card. That I'm gonna want to keep for way later in the game. Use that return to tell from Kai. And we're gonna have to just keep doing this for a little while. Don't attack with anybody else, or else we'll pretty much get annihilated. So if Vegeta does that one trick, he can annihilate anybody, mostly go on, and then be game over. And that's no good. Okay. I like how in this game, if you do it right, you can stay in KO Ken forever. Which is ridiculous. And because it makes you extremely powerful a lot, it's, it's pretty much broken. Um, bugger all. Still no. I'm still upset that I lost Yamcha. Uh, use that. Don't attack anybody else. I'm not gonna take a risk just to get rid of our that very chance to die. Oh god, looking at Vegeta's card, I'm starting to panic a little. And... Sh I don't know how to say that. Invisible attack. Quick question. I know it makes noise, but how in the heck did you dodge that? No, seriously, I'm asking. How did you dodge that? <laughs> Uh, and still no nice card. Uh, oh, Goku's favorite card, which you should attack anybody, attack anyone, but there's only one person. I don't know if it does a little bit more damage or not. 
I think it does, but I'm not quite sure. And he's just charging, and I'm gonna have to probably heal my health after this. What's my health? Yeah, I might not want to take any risks and heal that afterwards. Especially when Vegeta does this! Dodge it. Just. Like. A. Uh, balls! <laughs> wow. Yes! Um, do we got low healing items of any kind? No, I still got that full one. I don't want to use that. Okay, time to go risk. Nope. Just an old fashioned Kamehameha to the face. Kyoken times one. Only oh, times one. Kamehameha! That should finish you off. You ain't using your own version of a Kai card. Even when you had that max defense there with it. Goku killed the last enemy. Gained full fast trade point. Found a Vegeta card. Now that's interesting later, and I'm going to show a weird thing with that later. That's what I'm going to be saying for a while as well. Goku passed level 15. Level 12. Level 14. Level 15. Level 14. Now, you see right here how it's continuing on? You're much stronger than I. I actually had a bad experience with the Nart emulator with this. Though I understand the answer to you, but I... Let me go, we'll have my revenge when I'm better. I'll see you later, Kakarot. Next time, I'll beat you. If you use the ZSNES emulator, I seem to have this weird glitch with it. Go to the GS3 compared to the enemy. That you will face. Good luck. I had this weird glitch where after you beat him, the game would just say, okay, you're in a different spot, but only have Goku or whatever take Goku to the fight of Vegeta and Yamcha, which is weird. Then go there, beat him a little bit, then the game will translate to another Vegeta fight, meaning that the one Goku you're playing as was acting like Gohan. And then the, even if you beat the normal Vegeta, the, the game would repeat this glitch multiple times over and over again until the game would crash. It's a weird emulator glitch with the SNES, so I definitely recommend you use SNES 9X emulator, which is what I'm using. Because that doesn't seem to have that glitch at all. I did get through that glitch one time with the ZSNES, but I don't know how I pulled it off, so, uh... Yeah, I'm not using ZSNES for this game at least ever again, because that was a horrible idea. Loma and Gohan have decided to go to the planet Namek in search of the uh, Dragon Ball so they can revive Piccolo. And there's that were killed in the battle against Nappa and Vegeta. They departed from Namek. Very quickly. Go on training the spaceship on the way to Namek. Since traveling from Earth to Namek takes a long time. And I wish they had an extra scene there where we could be in there and do some training, but no. Their voyage took much longer than planned. It would have been nice to have a Gohan vs. Krillin fight there. But there's another game like this kind of release battle system that does that, so... I might LP that game sometime. I'm not going to tell you what it is. 34 days later... That seemed a lot... 34 days later? Did it take him like... I don't know, like... Half a year to get them on the actual show? I don't remember exactly. We have finally arrived. Listen up, I'm going to search for the Dragon Balls. Uh, I'll go with you, Gohan. I'm scared. I don't want to stay here alone. I don't think we're alone. Looks like Vegeta's space pod. Then it must be Vegeta. You're right. You must be after the Dragon Balls, too. Let's hurry and find them. Okay. Now, if I can remember where I'm supposed to go, which I probably don't. What's this? Okay, that's how... The 
rejuvenator thing in my bobber. Regenerating thing. Any of that'll heal my health and Kai. And just for the heck of it, if I can remember what buttons are what. Let's try get into a battle, because of course there's gonna be new enemies. And then I get not new enemies. Of course. Now we are all at high enough level to the point where I think we'd be able to take them on. Yeah. Almost. Except Gorn and Krillin. I. Let's see. Yeah, only Tien is actually more than double them. The other team members are somewhat close. Um. I'm not sure what the Vegeta card says. Vegeta comes to the rescue. This sends a clone Vegeta out for one whole battle. Until the battle's over and all the enemies are dead. This is useful for later because you can do something pretty funny with that. Anywho, let's go ahead and attack. But, no, I'm not going to do that. Gohan, attack on me with that. Actually, no, let's give you the higher defense. Or attack the higher defense one. And let's try to go all out against these. Okay. Though I still gotta be careful, because even though we're at a lot higher level now, they can still do, do a pretty lot. pretty much a lot of damage to us, and I worded that so weirdly. Okay, any time now. That was just the first time in the fight, wasn't it? Oh, well, go on, attacks all enemies now. And do some decent damage to them. Yeah, pretty much after this fight, I'm gonna end the video. Actually, I'm gonna try to look for new. Off screen, I'm gonna keep looking for newer enemies so I can find, show off some new enemies. Yeah, I'm gonna do that after I get this stuff fight over. Actually, you know what? We've already seen these enemies. I'm probably just gonna cut it right now and see you after battle and see if I can find some new enemies. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, hold on. Let's see if Chaozu's is gonna actually do something. Oh my god! Throughout this entire LP it, so far, it seems that Chao Tzu is trying to prove himself worthy because he's been killing a lot of enemies more than most of their team, which is pretty sad. Anywho, I'm going to cut it to where I'm going to show off new enemies, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, here we go. We have a couple new enemies. Slug. Doesn't look like Slug, but whatever. Um... Yeah, let's go all out. Throwing, you can use the... Kakusen A. Kakusen Ha. Kakusen. No, I, that doesn't even sound like that work. Um, yeah, this should be an interesting fight. Wait, hold on. Notice that Slug's power levels are different. Yeah, in this game, all the Cybermen of any type are pretty much the exact same level. But when it comes to the soldiers, they might have different power levels varied. Which is kind of interesting, since not usually in most games, not all enemies supposed to have the exact same power. They actually... All characters in the show have different types of power. They actually took that account for even the enemy, so that's kind of a nice touch. Except the Cybermen. But there's a unique Cybermen that counteracts that we're gonna see later in the game. Anywho, let's take these guys down. This shouldn't really be much of a problem. And yeah. That should do it, hopefully. Oh, I didn't know I never saw Chow ever do that before. Yeah, if you're extremely if any character's extremely powerful, they'll actually fly backwards and then charge at him like that. 
Now let's just have to attack all enemies. And hopefully that will weaken him enough to kill Krillin if he actually hits with his energy blast. I'd be able to finish off some of these enemies. Oh boy, he has an energy card. Um, yeah. I'm just trying to panic a little. Well, bugger. Nick. Only eight damage when Nick. Wow. More powerful than I thought I was. But I still gotta do some leveling up. Off screen, that is. Because, uh, yeah, there are tons and tons of difficult parts in this game at this point. This is where the game says, we're done screwing around, get yourself to about, like, halfway through max levels right now, or else you're probably going to die. Yeah, it's that insane it right now already. But by the way, I think Chao is about to die. Wow! Um, didn't expect that. And then Krillin does his attack. Hopefully those will hit. Come on. Good. That's one. Yeah, it's dead. Good. That's two. And it's just barely alive. Oh well. And that's three. Wow. These are all hitting so far. Surprise. That's two dead. Come on. Oh, great. The one that has the energy attack. That one that has the energy attack survived. I don't know what their, the soldier's energy attack is, so I'm about to find out. <laughs> After this enemy attacks all our characters. I'm actually running this video a little longer than I wanted to, but oh well. Hold on, what's their health? Yeah. Wait. No. Do that. Then now it's going to do that. And that should finish the fight. Why well, didn't I get to see Slug's energy attacks, or did I miss without noticing? Huh, weird. You're dead, and you're probably dead. Yeah, you're definitely dead. You have a little time to start. Alright, so many serious points. That was a good amount. So I'm getting level 15. Um, I think the max level in this game is actually level 46. Yeah, random number. I'm gonna get... This is gonna be a while. I'm gonna get to around level 30... So, it might be a while until maybe the next video, because this might take a day or two. Though, actually, the way I plan stuff, it might take a little bit less, I don't know. Anywho, you'll see me guys at level 30 next time, and this has been Vizalive9001. See you guys next time. Bye-bye for now.